Hello again, friends, and it's good to be with you today. Now, we can all have the desire to achieve. We want to do well in exams, we want to perform in our jobs, and we want to be the best that we can be. We crave success. But this is often seen as a bad thing. But the key is to make sure that we're desiring to achieve the right things. In the Bible, we can see that Paul was someone who was very motivated by achievement. He said in Acts chapter 20, verse 24, My life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for, use it for finishing the work assigned to me by the Lord Jesus. God didn't take away Paul's desire to achieve. He used it so that Paul could fulfil God's plans for his life. Being driven and motivated, along with having a desire to learn and achieve, can be really good. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. So you see, it's good to put our whole heart into something. But it's not good if it leads us to overworking or neglecting God or manipulating other people. When we realise that's begun to happen, we need to reevaluate our motivation. But we can use our motivation and desire to achieve, to help us grow in God. We can use our skills to accomplish good things for others. We can be like Paul and be completely focused on doing what God has called us to do. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, God has made us what we are. In Christ Jesus, God made us to do good works, which God planned in advance for us to live our lives doing. So you see, we're made to do good works. So let's use our motivation and our desire to achieve, to achieve things for God. So why don't you, before every task that you have to do today, just spend a minute talking to God. Pray for strength, pray for focus and pray for opportunities to glorify him in whatever you're doing. Let's pray. We'll say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.